Hi everyone, welcome back to lecture number 6 of aircraft structures 2. In the previous lectures, from lecture 1 to lecture 5, we discussed about bending stress. What is bending stress? How bending is occurring in aircraft structures? Then we discussed about uh, a method called K method. Then we derived an equation for bending stress for unsymmetrical section. And we have done one numerical problem. As you all know, we have different methods to estimate bending stress for unsymmetrical section. I have discussed in uh, different types of methods which can be used to estimate bending stress in the previous lectures. I will be providing the links of all previous lectures in the description box. You can go through that. First one is K method. Second one is neutral axis method. Third one is principal axis method. And we have discussed this first one. K method and in this lecture we will be discussing neutral axis method. This is a very easiest method, neutral axis method. It is basically we are just uh, modifying or we are just changing the equation of the bending stress. As you can see, the bending stress expression for an unsymmetrical section is given by this equation. We have derived this equation in the earlier lectures and we have used this equation to find out the bending stress for an unsymmetrical section in the numerical problem. Sigma is equal to mx ixy minus my i double x divided by ixy square minus ixx iyy into x plus my ixy minus mx iyy divided by ixy square minus ixx iyy into y where mx and my are the moment acting on x and y axis, ixx, iyy is the moment of inertia and ixy is the product moment of inertia. I am using the same equation. Here you can see I am taking ixx out from the numerator and from denominator I am taking ixx into iyy out. I am taking ixx out here in the numerator and ixx iyy out from the denominator. Similarly, in this equation, in this part, we will be taking iyy out in the numerator and ixx iyy the denominator. And we can see that I can cut ixx ixs on the first part and iyy iyy in the second part. Okay. And this is exactly the final equation. You can see. So the final equation is sigma is equal to m y bar divided by i y y into x plus m x bar by i x x into y. Okay. What is this m y bar and m x bar? You can see that we have this part m x into i x y. Sorry, we have this part m x into i x y divided by i x s minus m y divided by i x y square by i x x i y y minus 1. This entire part will be the m y and this will be the m x. Okay, you got the idea. M y is m x into i x y divided by i x x minus m y divided by i x y square divided by i x x i y y minus 1 and m x bar is m y i x y by i x x minus m x divided by i x y square by i x x i y y in minus 1. Okay. And this is the formula we are using. We are just, just interchanging or modifying the equation. That's it. We don't have, we are not changing anything else. We have the same parameters used. We are having the same moment mx, my and moment of inertia and product moment of inertia. We are just changing the equation. That's it. Now we will see the procedure to estimate the bending stress using neutral axis method. The procedure which we followed for K method is the same procedure we are following for neutral axis method. The only difference is we have a different equation for bending stress equation. That is nothing else is changing here. We need to first of all we have to select an axis system. Second step is to estimate the centroid. 
third step is to estimate the moment of inertia, second moment of area or moment of inertia, Ixx, Iyy and Ixy and estimating the bending stress equation. Here we have to use this equation. Okay. That's the only difference. Then we have to, uh, we have to, we'll be getting some equation in terms of x and y for example. Sigma is equal to, I'll be getting some 100x plus 50y and you can find out the x and y coordinate of the particular section. Then you can put in the bending stress equation and you can find out the corresponding bending stress of the section and uh, we have done a numerical and I will be giving the numericals in the description box also the videos which will contain the numericals and uh, and we have to locate the neutral axis location neutral axis is nothing but the axis along which bending stress is zero we have to equate, equate sigma the bending stress equation is zero that is I will be getting y by x is equal to one ratio and y by x is nothing but your tan theta and from this you can find out the value of inclination of neutral axis. We have explained all this thing in the previous lecture. Please go through that. And this is the step on procedure to find out the bending stress using neutral axis method. We have the same equation and there is no change in that. But just we are modifying some part of the equation. That's it. And in the next lecture we will be discussing about the principal axis method and it is quite different from your neutral axis mother and k mother and we will be having one derivation and we will do one problem for that. Please do subscribe the channel and like the videos. Thank you so much.